Valley versus UWP. Oh, and Oni with a little bit of uh, a little bit of voodoo there on the opening rush takes out a Grand Valley player. Number 16, Cipher, and 16 for UWP. Cipher goes out and does number six for Grand Valley. On simultaneous kills. Simultaneous kills. Gotcha. job by Grand Valley pump faking for that ball. I always admire the guys that have the uh, the oh, courage, courage to get up there and get pump it. fake, especially guys that don't even have a ball. There was a player famously for Western Kentucky University, Brett Rice, who would always pump fake oh, with yeah, no yeah, ball, yeah. with no ball at all at about half court and go, go up and get a loose ball. Those are the kind of players that you love to have because they're so tough. Absolutely love to have. We got about 10 minutes left in this second half. Grand Valley nursing a 5 0 lead. But UWP has absolutely shown me something here, even though it's 5 0 the score. That's a great kill by 30 Oni. Nice and, little uh, toe tapper right there. I think uh, 13 Harding just went out there. Yeah, 13 for UWP. On an attempt to dodge. Good dodge, really good block by uh, 93. That's uh, Zinner, or what's his name? Have to go get it. 93? Yeah, that's Zander. Zander. Zander, Zander, yeah. Really, really nice block for his teammate there. 44 going out there for Grand Valley. Good block. Looks like number 27, Van, is that Van Aston? Yeah, Van Aston. Feeling, feeling better after his uh, yep. being a little shaken up there on a headshot. Sometimes it just startles the hell out yeah, of you, you more just, than anything. Yeah, you just kind of just get shook a little bit, but he seems to be doing all right. Good job by number 11, Stoffel coming around to block for his teammate. Sounded like a foot shot there, but I guess it was ball yeah. and a shot at Xander. Oh, ah, just great a, catch. Just an awesome catch by there. 81. That's 81 again. We're gonna get his name. He deserved it. That's the in in uh, incog something. Is that him? Yeah, it's him. Yeah, it's Anthony and Crocky. Or Encroachy and Crocky. Yeah. Crocky. 81 has made several great. He made those greats in the All Star yes, game. Yes, he did. Nice stop. Nice stop off the back by us. That was number eight, I believe. Yeah, that was Botch. Botch. He's got the cannon on the team. That's in. Cog, in from Rocky. Again, unbelievable. Just having a great point. You notice he does that step back catch, yes, so he kind of gets a little yep. bit of backward momentum going. Oh, shock some. That was Xander, number 93. Was was Xander out. getting a kill there, yeah. All caught, number 10. Caught the Grand Valley player unawares. That's Stoffel, Stoffel, number 11, number going 11. down for UWP. So we got about seven minutes left in this second half. Both teams just kind of, uh, I think, winding out the clock a little yep. bit here, trying not to kill themselves. This game already decided. It's not that they're really letting up. They're just slowing the pace of the game down. Yeah, got to save your arms, save your hands. Yeah, I, uh, 
uh, Raymer, you'll like this one, so it's actually pretty funny. But I'm uh, refing, I'm uh, commentating for all three UWP games. Are you really? Today, yeah, it just, it just happened. It just, it just happened. It just to worked be. out that way? It just happened to be. Well, now you'll be very familiar with them yeah. by the end of the oh, day. Oh, great block by 24. That was uh, Terpstra. A really good block. Might not hurt for uh, all of us to familiarize ourselves with how they pronounce their names. Yep. In Since between. we see them so little during the season, yeah. it's never... Uh, you don't actually get to talk to these guys at all. Yeah, right. Some fancy footwork there by number 11. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, UWP has shown me something, and they, they've they proven that they can absolutely, with the right matchup tomorrow in the uh, first round, the round of 16, they can absolutely be a threat to, like, let's say they match up with, like, let's say Ohio State or Univer or Kent State or Kentucky or West or something. Some They're team a team to that. watch. Absolutely. They really are. They really round. are, and they've earned it. Now, what has Grand Valley shown you here a little bit in this uh, uh, first Yeah, game? you know what? They've had they've been on the 10 second shot clock like three or four times. But other than that, man, I mean, I mean what else can you say? They have, they're so deep. You've seen so many players uh, step up at diff on different occasions uh, for Grand Valley. And, you know, it's the first time I've seen them live all year. And it's just, it's unbelievable that, like, you can have a group who play this together and be this coherent playing dodgeball. Well, and it's you know? it's uh, really impressive the amount of arms that Grand Valley has. Oh. I mean, that's such a weapon, and you talk about teams, most teams have their ace throwers. You know, we've talked about Higby yep. for UWP, but you look at a team like Grand Valley, what's so hard is every single player can have that, you know, good, fast throw. That point, and they, every player has proven they can have that point. Yep. And Grand Valley players, we've talked about before, play so well in isolation. They oh never panic. They're just basically unflappable. It's actually, it's it's unbelievable. You know, we've seen Bailey have an amazing point. We've seen Garner have four catches. We've seen Croce have and great Croce points. have a couple of catches. Nordberg's had great points. It's just they're... It's, they, they have a lot of people who can step up in big moments when they're needed. Yeah, I really can. Nice kill by number seven. Number seven takes out uh, 68 uh, Hargrove. The setting goes down by Jensema. Jensema and uh, looks like Oni, Oni, the only two left in. Some crafty dodging. Oh, great catch. Great, great catch there by number seven. Takes out uh, Jen Sima. And Oni just basically tossing the balls over and saying, you know what, let's just see what happens here. Ooh. Hey, he challenged them. He tried his best. But Oni goes out with 2.52 left in this second half, and Grand Valley goes up 6-0. We'll be back with what will most likely be the final point in this Grand Valley-UWP matchup. 